Okay, hi everybody, me again. I figured I'd do it a little bit more personal this time and bring you my face today. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be showing you guys my personal experience with a new service from Amazon that has finally become available to me. See, I was on my Amazon just looking, you know, browsing through it or whatever like that, and I came across and saw Whole Foods deliveries. And I'm thinking, like, before, like, okay, yeah, I looked at it, like, yeah, they don't deliver anywhere near me. Ah, haha, that has changed. Time has finally progressed forward enough with Whole Foods and how they tend to figure out their deliveries that now they do deliver to me all the way in my neck of the woods in Massachusetts. So, with that, I decided to place my order. And I ordered some stuff that I really, really needed and some other stuff that I just shouldn't be eating at all. But I still got what I wanted out of it. So I'm going to try my best to show you what I got, what I ordered, and how it was delivered to me as best as I can. So I'm going to switch over. There's that. Full screen it. And hit play. Alright. I'm already at my front door. Sorry for the fuzziness on my video camera. But it's my phone. And excuse me. So yeah. So the driver, she pulled up to my house as usual, and she dropped it off bit by bit, taking her time. She was awesome. Thank you, Lillian. Uh, you were a great driver and great drop-off person, I guess, because you did an awesome job. I got about five bags, and I took everything in as best as I can because it's a little chilly, and I don't want to see the neighbors see me picking up stuff because I'm weird like that. So I turn on some lights finally because <gasps> I'm doing a video. I should probably make it look good. <laughs> so my video cut out there for a second. Uh, excuse my toes. They're not bad. But then again, they're not that great either. So I try my best. Excuse the shaky cam because, mind you, there's my two hands. But I still have to pick. I still have the camera rolling and everything. Yeah. That's how I roll. I at least came a little bit prepared for you guys because, duh, I should try a little, just a little bit, to make sure I can give you at least everything that I can. So I'm doing, I'm still doing a little bit of back and forth, trying to pick up as much as I can, as best as I can, and slowly as I can because the actually no, the image stabilization is better than how it was physically for me. <laughs> so. Ha! Huh, thank you, Samsung. You guys did a great job for a very cheap phone. Because I do not have a top-tier phone. No, I refuse to. Oh, music change. Alright, grabbing everything. That's why you get the big old Prime in your face right there. So, now, I'm definitely taking off the camera. Trying my best. So you can see everything here. Uh, I got most of my stuff on my items there. And there's some great things about this service. Sorry for the blinding light. Ah, no, I can't see. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, so now please forgive the camera. I'm trying. I'm trying. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, there I am. Oh, there's my gut. Leave it alone. All right, first bag up. I wanted to make sure I could see everything. Yeah. There's my gut. I love that belly. Feeds me. Lets me know what I want to eat. Alright. So, I ordered some onion rings. That's one. I got about 31 items here, so if you can, keep count. There's some spinach. Not for the gut, necessarily, but... Jesus Christ, that sucker just hangs out there. Yeah. The camera adds about 80 pounds. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The French onion dip. I don't care. I like snacking on it. Piss off. I got some noodles. Mm, that's something I'm going to hook up there. Mm -hmm. uh, turn that a little bit. Uh, there's my chipotle in a can. There's the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chipotle peppers. Sorry for that. Turmeric. I'm going to need that later. I cook like all types of things. That's some soda I wanted to try for them, but I got to get it out of the way because I need to make sure you guys can see. Sorry for the autofocus. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Some more soda. I want to see if it tastes like Coke, pretty much. So that's going to sit there, also over there. That's one bag down. I'm not going to keep going. I know I got everything I needed. They actually did a good job. 
with uh, definitely getting everything I needed or ordered. Sorry, with some bread. Ugh, I'm sorry. Some brioche buns from some burgers. Please get out of the way. I hope to God this stays in focus. I did not review that at all. Oh, please stay in focus for the most time. And now I'm bitching a little bit because I thought I ordered bushels or at least bunches of bananas. Turns out I actually ordered two bananas. And there's some avocados. Uh, oh, why did I put that there? It's going to drive me nuts. Oh, no. Why did I put that there? Oh, please don't. All right. There's some more of that. I did not think it was going to be this close up. Oh, forgive me. Oh, when you try to be a content creator. And you forget about autofocus. Some lemonade. Not you, Beyonce. Uh, some orange juice. Not you, Juice Jones. Some ham. I need that for the sandwiches. Oh, please forgive me. Some bacon. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Some egg roll wraps. Because, yeah, there's some stuff I want to make, too. Uh, why did I put it right there? I thought, I thought it was better. Uh, that was some cilantro, and there's some lettuce for some sandwiches, not sandwiches, some mushrooms, that's for something even more special. Ah, some pork buns, I was actually supposed to eat those on camera, I forgot about that, but because I wanted to just get you guys that. Mozzarella, some basil, mm, I love basil. Now, I w think I wanted to show you guys that, but I can't because that's a secret ingredient. <laughs> I ain't giving up everything in one shot. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> so, there's bag number three, I believe. Yes. And, of course, I got me some chips. That might have been bag number four. I'm not counting. <laughs> like I said, I'm not counting any of this. And I thought it said Parmesan Ranch when I ordered it, but it turns out it was Farm Stand Ranch. I can't read sometimes. Leave me alone. Oh, it actually was bag number four. And uh, yeah, that's the sparkling water. I brought that up last because I wanted to make sure you guys saw that I wanted some sparkling water. There's me finally looking over everything, thinking that's everything I have. I'm sure it is. And yeah, so call it a day signing off there and now i'm bringing it back to you guys with me so that was actually a good experience that i was hoping to get from amazon uh lillian she did a great job dropping everything off like i said before very attentive to making sure she didn't drop anything by taking her time and such so and definitely them getting everything i ordered correct it also seems to be pretty well um what else am i missing what else am i missing what else am i missing yeah they actually had a huge selection of stuff for me to get online that i don't know was even at my local whole foods but i definitely know this was stuff that i wanted I could have gotten produce. I, could, I think I could have gotten some fresh meats from the actual like meat department and everything. Uh, I was going to order some boneless thighs, but then I remembered I had some already. So it was like pointless. And I was going to order another steak, but I didn't feel like steak. I've eaten too many steaks for the last year alone. Hence why you saw my gut looking so mm, plump. Yeah, I always been a big boy, but uh, this year I want to be a skinny fat yeah let's go for skinny fat this year so again back to the whole foods it was still a good experience to get the home delivery and with this last year i don't know if they ramped it up more because of the pandemic but it definitely was good to see that availability i have with all this craziness and i hope they're delivering to so many more people who need it i don't need it but I wanted to try it to see if it was going to be worthwhile, and it was. Amazon has been killing it this last year with their deliveries. Of course, Christmas time was rough. I worked shipping, too, not for them, but shipping is always rough for the last few years, and this year didn't make it any better. I'm not going to lie. Some of you are probably not going to get your stuff till after the end of the month in February. 
but that's just how it is. Some stuff got backlogged, some stuff didn't physically get to go where they needed to go. Enough of that. So, yeah, I had a great experience doing this. Um, you guys will see on my Instagram to see whether or not I even like the buns because I don't really try too many of their prepared foods that much. I prefer cooking for myself nowadays. Uh, unless I'm going to a restaurant, I do not eat stuff that isn't prepared by me. It's a thing I've been doing lately. And I'm going to try doing some other types of cooking this year and expand my range even further. Which is amazingly great. Uh, how long has this been going for? 10 minutes? I actually got a 10 minute video out of this. Mm. Alright, that's enough of this. I'm going to sign off now. But thank you for watching. Um, please keep following. I don't know where this journey is going to take me. But I sure hope you're along for a good amount of the ride.